Now, per year, we fish about 250 tons of wild animals. About half of them is sold alive, and then the rest is used for our own production of Sierjin roe, both industrial roe and also uh, more customer based products. Since we are in the northern part of the world, we are affected by weathers and in order to secure the delivery of the animals farming would be extremely important to us if possible. Due to the explosive increase in sushi popularity in addition to the regional and historical demand wild sea urchin populations have become overfished. It was an enormous industry. They came from all over the country to collect them. They had boats, they would drop off with divers in the boats, boatmen, lorries coming around from pier to pier to collect them up. And they drove away with cattle lorries stacked to the top with baskets and baskets of sea urchins, night after night after night. To meet this demand with farmed sea urchins, knowledge and technology relating to sea urchin aquaculture needs to be further developed. The sea urchins were pretty well wiped out and uh, we decided we should make a hatchery and make our own orchards and re-establish orchards in areas where they were before. And that's how the whole business really started in the first place. The EU-funded research initiative is addressing these needs through research and development. The project is looking to improve growth rates, design standard aquaculture methods and systems, and ensure that these innovations are commercially applicable. In the beginning, we thought it was a great idea to farm them in the sea. But later on, and especially after our first year of trials where we lost many cages due to bad weather, I find that it would probably be more effective to have it on land, where you can keep a close eye on the animals at all times, feed them whenever you feel it's necessary, so I think land-based facilities would definitely be more effective. The research project was conceived to address two main identified bottlenecks in search in aquaculture, the size to move juvenile urchins at sea and the grow out of urchins to the market size. These constraints have been addressed by performing a, a feeding and a, a culture system trials uh, at different locations across a, a wide latitudinal gradient and across two different species. Experiments have been performed uh, at the first part of the project at a small scale at the RTD locations and in the second part the, the trials have been performed at the SME uh, sites, performing a larger uh, semi-commercial trials. We're very natural and lucky where we are. It's not so much good farming, it's we have a good area, clean water, cold water, which is suitable for growing of kelp, and the kelp suits the animal, and that gives us this fabulous taste, and that's why we're lucky. It is working, and very, very slowly, it'll get back to the stage, hopefully, that it was one time. <laughs>